Hi everybody, I'm Jim, the Hippie Redneck Geek, and this is a video about a shed that I built during four weekends uh, from December 28th to Christmas 2015. I believe that's when it was, those four weekends uh, between Thanksgiving and Christmas. Um, we had an unusually um, warm spell at that time, I think, because... Uh, I don't remember even being cold out there working uh, at that time. So uh, we'll start off here. This is a uh, lumber. Some of the lumber that I've gotten, I've gotten started getting set up out here uh, for for building uh, the shed. Um, and I'm going to go through pictures here of building the shed. Uh, I did miss some pictures of putting the, to putting down the um, the floor joists and the flooring for some reason. I don't seem to have pictures of that, but I do have pictures of uh, everything else. So we're going to go through, go through the pictures uh, and uh, hope you enjoy. So this is picking out the place where I was actually going to build the shed, laying out uh, the four corners. Uh, the shed is an 8x12 shed uh, with a, I think, 3 foot, I think about a 3 foot, 2 and a half foot uh, front porch on it of, of sorts. Uh, it might be a little bit more than that, a little, little bit less, I don't remember exactly. Approximately 3 foot uh, front porch area on it. Um, so total square foot uh, is like 12 by 11. So uh, this is finding the corners. Uh, putting the pier blocks, uh, the deck blocks down. Uh, that's where it's going to be set up uh, to uh, go. And uh, you can see the load of uh, the siding and the um, decking in the back of my truck. Um, as you can see right here, all my decking here is under the, the, the siding. So I've got to pull all the siding out of the truck before I can get to the the decking for the flooring that was a a lot of fun getting all that uh, out uh and uh getting set up um so uh, i've been doing some work on the house and it's had uh we had re remodeled uh well didn't remodel the bathroom we were doing some work in the bathroom had to replace the toilet and for some reason the toilet got left out here and had to move it before i could do any work um we had replaced several of the windows in the house, and they're over here on the right-hand side here. And I uh, actually used some of the windows in the shed. And there's some lumber up here that I had uh, from an old deck. Uh, I re re uh, rebuilt my deck, and the good lumber that I had, I think, set up over here. was set up over here for, for use. Um, and so we're using some of this lumber over here, some uh, two by six, the two by sixes, I think, or two by eights, I don't remember for the floor joists uh, that I use are we're set up over here. And so we go here. So unfortunately, as I said, I don't have any pictures of the joists of, of putting the floor, uh, the decking down here uh, to floor joists. So, this is building the the front wall here. Uh, I've gotten to the point where it's building the front wall. I've got uh, the two sides. It's got the the openings here for where the uh, um, windows are going to go. Because I so that you can see the windows I have in the background here. The windows of some of the windows that I'm using uh, for the for the shed here. And uh, so I've got putting down the uh, uh, putting on the uh, the siding. And uh, so here it is, a different angle here. And you see some more more of the uh, windows that are over there that were pulled from the house. And um, I kind of made a mistake here and didn't cut the um, door tall enough. I don't know what I was thinking when I cut it. I marked out six foot for some reason. And, um, and six foot is not quite tall enough. Uh, since I'm six foot tall, uh, so I framed it out right, but whenever I cut it out, I don't know why. Whenever I marked out the um, 
uh, siding, whatever I take and put it on there, uh, and I cut it out, that I didn't cut it out the right size, I have no idea what I was doing, but that's okay. It's just a hole. I can make it bigger. And as such, I uh, did make it bigger here. And you can see I think I can open it up to the right size here. Uh, it definitely helps to have a, a door that's actually tall enough to walk through. And so there we've got uh, some of the windows, the two, the two, two of the windows. These are actually the old bathroom windows from the house that we put in here, that I uh, reused here in the shed. And this is uh, building the. Wow, that the camera was definitely a little uh, fuzzy there. Building the uh, back uh, wall. That's the framing for the back wall. As this is building it out, and then. Uh, the back wall uh, after it's actually stood up here with the opening for uh, the window. The window that actually is going in here is the window that came out of the kitchen, out of the house when we replaced that window. And there's just a different angle of the uh, rear wall stood up. And putting the end wall together here, we're um, we've got the uh, studs up and ready to put up the, the siding and here we've got the siding put up um, I'll show you in a later picture uh, that it's how I did the siding I did not cut the siding the slope and everything the siding the front wall is eight foot tall the back wall is seven foot tall so it's a, so it's a one foot slope over an eight foot distance there for a shed roof on this year uh, and I did not try to cut the, the siding to fit. I actually put the, I put the wall up, put the siding up full, and then cut the siding. I'll show you on uh, another picture. And as you can see here, I have the rear window in place on that back wall as well. So there's a, another picture of back wall. So here's the other side going up. Uh, the other end, I should say, uh, you can see the slope here. I've got the, I've got it all tied in there, and from the outside here. And then we go here. You can see I have the, uh, the siding. It's uh, the T111 is actually going up above, stood it up fully so that it's it's in place, and then I came back with a sawzall and cut the cut the uh, siding at the uh, the wall tie there and there it is cut in place and uh, the walls are all up and in place and I'm starting to put the roof on here uh, so because I have the little three foot here I'm extending the roof out over the front here to have roof over the uh, little front porch there. It's not a lot of not a lot of protection, but it's a little protection there just to, uh, for have a little bit of protection there anyway. And there we have the uh, little front porch. Uh, all this decking here is uh, is the decking from the old from my old deck that I took down. Uh, and rebuilt. Uh, the old deck was rebuilt because I had a tree fall on it uh, the winter before uh, and busted up uh, the, the most of the deck. So we took, took all the deck that was still usable and take, saved, saved it and rebuilt the, uh, the deck. And this is some of the decking that was used from the, from the old deck. And there it is all complete. I was going to make a split door then realized after I think made the split door that I um, only had one set of hinges and didn't have another set of hinges. Now I've since gotten another set of hinges and actually can make this into a split door, but I have not done that yet. Um, one of these days I'll get around to doing that. And here it is complete with the uh, the uh, roofing on it it's a uh, corrugated metal roofing got the door on it everything here it is complete here 
and uh, that is it. So I uh, hope you enjoyed this video on this uh, build of the shed. I have another shed that I've got uh, that uh, I'm currently building right now that um, I'll do a video on building it. It's a uh, gamble roof on it. Uh, it will be um, done a little bit later. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't get uh, uh, a, any videos, just pictures of it. So I'll be doing the same thing with it. So hopefully I will actually start doing with videos. I've got tripods and cameras now so I can do videos instead of just taking pictures. Uh, I'm not smart enough to take and do videos with my phone. I've tried and uh, I am disastrous at it. So right now we'll go through the pictures and hope you enjoy. Uh, so please cl click subscribe below and click the uh, notification bell for any new videos. Uh, I, hopefully I will have new videos out every week uh, when I can. So thank you very much. Hope you enjoy.